Lance Wheeler back in the you, Rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring the little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. So we, we're living in uh, uh, what I would call interesting times. I'm living in interesting times. Uh, uh, even in my little myopic focus on uh, on genre and fandom. I mean, listen, there's much stranger things going on in the wider world. But if you just leave a look at the fandom, we do see some very strange things. So the strange thing we're going to talk about today uh, uh, is Disney. Those little scamps at Disney. Now, those little scamps at Disney uh, like to think of themselves as being progressive and anti-racist. Uh, which is a bit weird because they keep doing uh, very regressive and very racist things. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. Today in this uh, 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 in this video, uh, they've uh, Disney employee was uh, spewing racial hatred, like massive racial hatred on Twitter, uh, uh, and uh, and so Disney of course came to the defense, saying we stand with this massive racial hatred. We absolutely love it. While at the same time, reportedly uh, uh, was it Gina Carano, uh, also a Disney employee. She plays Cara Dune in, uh, in The Mandalorian and plays her pretty darn well, if you don't mind me saying so. Um, uh, 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 she's, she's come under attack from, I would say, the insane people that live on Twitter. They're absolutely, probably the same kind of people uh, who did, uh, Disney are defending right now uh, because she refused to... Uh, bend the knee to the trans mob, right? The jet, the the yeah, the tr yeah, the trans mob that demands everybody put their pronouns in 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 their um, whatever their header. Yeah, no. <laughs> okay, uh, and uh, and strangely, strangely, she didn't get quite as much support. So I I don't think they're what they're into being anti-racist. I just think they're they're into having their own way, right? I think they're having their own way and uh, not applying any uh, any standard to themselves that they would apply to anybody else. Fine, before we end the video, can I can hit the like button? That would be freaking awesome. Can you hit the share button? That's really active. So incredibly helpful. Uh, also helpful is uh, uh, subscribe. The subscribe button. The subscribe button. I would say the most important thing as, uh, of all. Uh, independent voices here are are in, um, imminently about to be sm uh, stamped off of uh, uh, social media. Listen, this there's, um, there's complete freedom of speech. As long as you say the right things. There's a complete thing, as long as you say the right things. I often say the wrong thing. It's something that I do. I do apologize. Uh, 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 so, yeah, if you can hit the subscribe button, that really helps in, you know, us independent uh, 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 voices here, here on YouTube or anywhere in social media. Hit the subscribe button and do it for another YouTuber as well. Pay it forward a bit. That'll be fan freaking double dozy. Of course, if you, are, if you subscribe to the channel, you can enter my weekly competitions. The competition this week is for... Um, Terminator, uh, the original Terminator from 84, uh, special edition, tons of extras, freaking love this movie, all you need to do to win it, subscribe to the channel, subscribe and in the comments, leave the hashtag, Hunter Killer, Hunter Killer, uh, go check the video notes, the video notes has all the information you need to uh, uh, to enter and win, and also while you're there, I am probably launching this a week today, I'm, I'm aiming for January 31st uh, to uh, monetize this, uh, uh, um, uh, this channel, which will be really, really nice, uh, these two graphic novels are, are, are going to be my first offering, um, I put together a sign-up sheet, the, the, the launch day we are going to give away a ton, I mean, I just a ton, a ton of freebies and gifts to different, you know, different number of people who, uh, 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 who, who, who back the book. So sign up to the, the, the email list now and you, you, uh, you'll be able to start saying the good is, the good is that could be coming to you. And uh, unfortunately it's not the real good. Are they all still alive? The good, the good is. I get the feeling they're not. <laughs> but hey, the good is they are ready. They are ripe for a revival. You know who's not ripe for a revival? Uh, segregation and racism. Segregation and racism, not ripe for revival. But Disney really want to do it. So this story started off over here uh, with the Star Wars and Lucasfilm officially support calling all white people racist. So um, that's a bit of a weird thing <laughs> in of itself. The official Star Wars Twitter account has thrown their support behind new hire Christina Ariel. And her declaration that all uh, all white people are racist. See, I, I don't know. I, I, that just sounds a bit racist, doesn't it? Earlier today, Bounding in the Comics reported on a number of tweets that Ariel, uh, the new host of the Star Wars High Republic show. Well, God, the High Republic was awful. You know, I, I think I've got to check out this show now to, uh, to goof on it. Uh, where she called all white people racist. Okay, uh, uh, are we taking her out of contents maybe? Uh, uh, here's just a few of those tweets. Okay, let's have a look at some of these tweets. So this will be from, uh, this is from March 2020. So it's not really like a million years ago. Um, Jeff Yang, who's Jeff Yang? Jeff Yang is uh, 
Is he a politician? I think he's... A, was he one of the guys running for president? I can't remember. Uh, so he, he tweeted, Some of my first breathing while Asian moments. I don't know what that means. Uh, went out for groceries and an older masked woman passing uh, the line shouted, F off! Uh, F you! Uh, at me for no apparent reason. Well, that's a bit strange. Uh, as I stared at her, she pulled off her mask and coughed directly at me uh, and turned on a hill and walked off. Well, that's just weird behavior, okay? I think that's just uh, weird behavior. Um, so uh, Christina Ariel said, White people, effing stop it. You're racist. How do you know this person was white? Right? One second. Did he? Uh, 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 oh, wait, wait. Went out for groceries and an older mask. Oh, white woman. Okay. Uh, listen, I think focusing on people's color is not good. Okay. White people, effing stop Stop it! Your racism won't save you! Well, how's it gonna save anyone? Like, what are you thinking, you crazy woman? Your ignorance is not an excuse! You look like you might be a bit ignorant, darling. You look like you might be a bit ignorant, and your ignorance is not an excuse. So then Scott Baio, oh god, I hate Scott Baio because he's, uh, he, he's not part of the group thing. Um, so he says, hey, I am Wanda Sykes, okay. Uh, why is it okay for Joe Biden to say something that clearly racist? But the real Roseanne gets kicked off her own show that you are a writer on uh, for making a mistake. Now, yeah, listen, that I do, I do kind of, kind of, kind of agree with Scott Bio there. I, I don't think that uh, uh, when uh, uh, what was it? She called Valerie Jarrett a monkey. Uh, uh, she was really thinking of the uh, racial connotations of that. I mean, I, I, yeah, I, I just don't. Um, because it's just not something I think of, right? Yeah, yeah. When I when I think of black people, I don't go, oh, they're like, but yeah, no, no, nobody does that. Okay, nobody sane does that. That's crazy. Um, is it because you're uh, full of crap? Uh, hack? Is it because you're full of hack crap? Uh, hack liberal? Oh, look, Scott mate, Scott mate. There's no real point saying that because she is full of crap. A uh, hack liberal. So, but Christine Ali gets in. And she somehow she bold. I didn't have to bold a uh, Twitter th uh, thing on Twitter. White conservatives, please stop invoking racism like you give a shit. I, what? I mean, why don't I give a Like, I understand. Uh, you don't. You just want to be able to say, what about when somebody calls out 45 for his blatant racism? Now, listen, I, I, I don't know if the former president, the Trumpster, is a racist or not. I haven't seen anything that would in any way convince me that he was. And I've been looking really hard. I've seen things being very disingenuously taken completely out of context, including a speech where he says, I completely disavow uh, racism and white supremacy, specifically the KKK. Yeah, that speech sounds like a bit of an anti-racist speech, but they use that speech to say, oh, no, he's clearly a racist. Oh, okay, okay, I don't know. Um, and as you guys, here's a view. Uh, and then we have uh, Axios. Uh, so Kaylee, uh, uh, Kaylee McEnany uh, said, Trump's uh, description of the coronavirus as a kung flu that's <laughs> not bad. Kind of works. Uh, was uh, linking it to its place of origin. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, is it, it started Chile. You know, you might not know this. Uh, the term has been described as a racist and offensive uh, to a of America. Listen, you can't. You can't say uh, uh, that uh, that yeah. This is racist and offensive to one person and uh, it's like being far more recent events to another uh, is okay just because you like them. I mean, yeah, the, the great comparison I always use is Donald Trump to Jeremy Corbyn. Jeremy Corbyn and uh, avows terrible, terrible racist, uh, hates, hates Jews uh, and has a you know, anti-Jewish legislation uh, that he was willing to uh, got complete pass. Got uh, AOC gets a complete pass. All the uh, uh, elite, uh, Rashida Tlaib gets a complete pass. Joe Biden gets a complete pass. I mean, my God, in the last three days, I've seen so many stories that uh, the former president would have been uh, uh, raked over the coals for. Like those, uh, <laughs> firstly, yeah, having, I, I didn't know this was the case. 20, was it 25 to 30,000 uh, National Guardsmen in DC for like a, a spectator list look like to me, the inauguration. Uh, but apparently that's more troops than they had in Northern freaking Ireland at the height of the troubles. Really? 
That's a lot of people. And then, and then they got kicked out of Congress and made to sleep in a parking garage. I listen, I'd say what you will about Drumster. I think you probably would have put them up in hotels uh, if, they were, if they were there for him. Or at least bought, yeah, bought them some Mickey D's. <laughs> that, but yeah, and again, that's just one of the most minor things. The press would have been all over that, just like they would have been all over, you know, the loss of the 70,000 jobs uh, and the... Uh, the Cancelling of women's sports. Yeah, that's kind of a big one. Uh, uh, raising the prices of, of EpiPen and uh, insulin. Yeah, who cares? Yeah, let's do that. And uh, 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 allowing China, you know, <laughs> I mean, like, how much more stuff speaking here? Allowing China uh, to be able to control America's power supply and get ready to invade Taiwan. That's in three days. Three freaking days. And I'm not even listing everything. I, that was just off the top of my head. They would have been all over that. Uh, um, I don't think they're all over. <laughs> they're all over it with uh, with Biden because uh, uh, they are, are partisan hacks. I think. Um, don't going to say there's uh, offensive to uh, Asian Americans. If I may quote Ricky Gervais, just because you're offended doesn't mean you're right. Just because you're offended does not mean you're right. We're Kellyanne Connery, Cleveland and calling it highly offensive. Blah 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 blah. Uh, just a reminder that white women are as complicit in holding up and enforcing white supremacy. Uh, honestly, honestly, this sounds a bit racist to me. This sounds a bit racist and detached from reality in any way, shape or form. Also in June 2020, yeah, honestly, darling, maybe you should just scrub your Twitter account. Uh, she said, oh God, this is the worst one ever. I don't have an ego. Uh, you do. You do have an ego. I am also not a bully. You are. You are. Uh, I have said repeatedly, I don't owe white people a conversation about racism. Well, you do when you call them racist. When you say all white people are racist, uh, you owe them a conversation about racism. If I was to say, and I'm not saying this, that all black people are criminals, you know, that's a horribly racist thing to say, isn't it? Absolutely horribly racist thing to say. If I was to say that, I would owe all black people a conversation about criminality because you, yeah that because I just opened the door to that by saying this incredibly racist thing. None of this is rocket science, right? None of this is rocket science. Um, uh, I don't know why I've been conversation about racism. I've been living with it. Well, maybe we're living with your racism. Have you ever thought of that, darling? No, you haven't, have you? Uh, they've been doling it out. How exactly? How exactly? Now, I, I understand the biggest claim is uh, uh, there is a racist police force in America that hates black people and therefore t therefore targets black people disproportionately to murder them, right? That 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 is the uh, 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 allegation. And the, the proof of that allegation, the proof they're putting up for that allegation is the uh, the high proportion of black people uh, uh, incarcerated uh, incarcerated and uh, is it killed or uh, but yeah the higher percentage of black people uh, dealing with the police than than uh, than white people I, I'm not even sure it's that yeah there's disproportionately higher co uh, compared to their levels it within society the demographic levels within society that's the big proof. Um, yeah, it doesn't really take into account many other factors. And also, you know, you could look at any other demographic. You could say the police disproportionately target men. So do they hate men and do they love women? No, it's all just nonsense. The reason that there is a disproportionately high policing within black communities, in my opinion, is that black communities have been kept in poverty by left-wing policies, uh, uh, forcing people into a uh, institutionalized life of crime. Uh, that's probably why. That might be the reason. Not because people don't like their skin color. Because let me tell you, most people don't give a damn about skin color. Really, we really don't. Uh, so you do have an ego. You are a bully. You have said repeatedly that you don't owe white people a conversation about racism. When you do, I've been living it. They've been doling it out. How exactly? I am not entering a conversation where people are intent at, on not misunderstanding. No, it's not. We're not misunderstanding. Not understanding you. We're saying you're wrong. Wrong. Okay, this isn't a misunderstanding. It's me saying that you are wrong and you're wrong because you are a racist. None of this is complicated. None of this is complicated. Um, so, yeah, a lot, quite a lot of racist things. So, uh, again, let's, let's com compare and, compa and uh, contrast this to uh, uh, Gina Carano, who has been, uh, you know, just filleted on social media because she refuses to put a, her pro a personal pronouns in a, in a Twitter bio, right? That's it. Um, has there been any support of her? No, in fact, the report is they wanted to fire her 
And it was only John Favreau who says, uh, listen, I've got the only thing working here for you at Disney Star Wars. Maybe you want, want to listen to me. And what I'm saying is, you're not firing her. You're not firing her. Although I am pretty sure that uh, uh, that Republic, that, that New Republic uh, TV show they, they they announced was supposed to be the Cara Dune show if she bent the knee. And they haven't, she's not bending the knee, so who knows. Uh, but yeah, Star Wars comes out and says, our Star Wars community is one of hope and inclusivity. Uh, but you don't include people who don't like racism. <laughs> and, we're, and we're not actually full of a lot of hope right now. Uh, we do not stand for bullying and racism. So it sounds like they're about to say she's five, right? So it sounds like she doesn't like bullying and they don't like bullying. We support uh, Christina Aria. Really? Really? So if you don't stand for bullying and racism... Uh, 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 why don't you? Why are you? Why are you uh, uh, supporting her? So then, uh, uh, this blows up. This blows up a bit more. So then we have uh, Andy Signore, uh wanted. So Andy Signore was uh, me too. Uh, was it 2017? Uh, and basically had his life destroyed. Then then rebuilt it. So he had quite a uh, uh, interesting response to them. He said, uh, "I have never heard of Christina, uh, but I am confused at what you support for Agina Carano is." Yes. She's been endlessly bullied. She's never even said, uh, st uh, stop picking favorites and, and be truly inclusive by supporting all your talent, no matter uh, who they voted for. I think he might have, I think it might touch the nerves, right? I think it might like uh, uh, hit the nail on the head. Uh, so we have this person here, Eva Cantor, economist for dogs. I don't really think uh, 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 dogs need need much of an economist, but she 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 replied, uh, uh, "That's a cool thread of crap that she deserved for being uh, being a dipshit conspiracy theorist and a bigot." Yeah, uh, again, again, uh, citation, please. <laughs> I don't think there is any. Uh, 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 talk crap, get uh, get crap. Maybe maybe. Well, Jeez, I mean, listen, the well, Christina Aria took a lot of crap. Maybe Gina needs to grow, uh, grow some effing skin, and she wouldn't have to put, uh, wouldn't have had to f off the parlor. Well, that, that's over. The uh, parlor got stomped on. Uh, uh, which oh hey, uh, got shut down because it was full of effing Nazis. Yeah, again, you're completely insane. You are completely insane. Uh, uh, maybe that's why you are a uh, economist for dogs. Um, you're going to do this Gamergate crap? And it's ignore. She then goes on and says, uh, this stunt you want to pull, uh, this, is, uh, this is the way you want to show uh, your dick to the world. I, I, I never want to show my dick to the world. Uh, yeah, I'm not really into that. Uh, uh, a lot of us have been around this block. Really? Blimey. And we're carrying effing bolt cutters this time. So dick... Whoa. Defend your... Defend your effing... National Socialist from Germany. What the hell? That God, oh my God, there's another one. There's like this is going crazy. This is from like the 23rd. This is from yesterday. What the hell? Consider if you're gonna do Gamergate 2.0 or whatever, the only correct response is uh unmitigated brutality. I can feel the healing. I can feel the unity. Yeah, but let's bring the country together. I don't think the country's coming together, and I think we're looking why. Uh the first time they built careers and lies pulling that crap. Uh, this, oh my god, she goes on. I can't think I can read any more of this. Um, no, no, she's only got one more to go. Uh, these people need to learn fear! Yes, I understand. You want, you want there to be a war. It needs to be a bear trap they cannot pull out of. Uh, over the last years, our communities have been forced to learn skill sets of anti-fascism. That's funny, because you seem to be a bit of a fascist. And community defense. It's time to put them to effect. Yeah, well, listen, from what I can tell, with the current administration uh, uh, abandoning and throwing uh, uh, BLM and Antifa on the bus, I think they're going to be uh, uh, you putting it to, uh, putting it to, uh, into effect against the current an administration. So then it goes on a little bit further. And it gets even worse, right? It gets even worse because then Christian Ariel, in response, gets a bunch of racist tweets. Really? You know, there's nothing about this is good. Nothing about this is good. She has somebody sending uh, emojis of... I don't know what the first one is. This I think that's his Twitter handle. But he sends uh, his uh, emoji of a monkey and a banana. That, that's not good. That's not good. You shouldn't do that. Uh, this guy goes, "If your shit, okay? You're you hate racists. You hate white people. Well, I'm white. Oh wait, I'm mixed. Uh, or oh, wait a minute, not telling you because 
you're racist and full of black nationalists and your High Republic stories are garbage and you're full of crap and I hope... Uh, okay, really? Okay, then he goes, yeah, F you. Then he got the, the N-word. Yeah, none of this is good. None of this is good. And this is really where we go. This is, this is the uh, 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 rabbit hole we disappear down. When we go down the horrible route of identity politics, the horrible route, it just creates racism. That, that thing that, that doesn't really exist, it just actually genuinely creates it. Uh, and I understand there are crazy people out there who don't like you because of your skin color and or, or don't like because of your ethnicity. And there are other crazy people out there who don't like you because you have another skin color. It's all wrong. You're all wrong. Error's wrong. And I think it's going to destroy civilization as we know it. Uh, still, got to laugh. Got to laugh. My name is Cena Beck. And thank you very much from another planet. Please like, share, subscribe, and ring the little bell. Ring that little bell so you're notified when new videos drop.